Hello folks, and this is Kiki, uh, and here's the first of uh, probably two, maybe three parts of uh, Newman Metal. Uh, I did edit out some stuff for content, uh, but this is one of the main PvP areas and the mining areas and crafting areas in uh, Yushigo. As you can see, uh, there is no radar here, to some extent anyway. The deeper you go in, uh, basically, the less your radar works. And it just now says warfare started. So that means that uh, the Newman Battle started. Basically, it gave it like a second warning uh, because, as you notice up there at the timer, uh, we're already 10 minutes into it. Since I never went to Newman yet, I have to actually manually get to Newman. And here's a few more gameplay issues that I'm going to go ahead and show. And uh, there will probably be some PvP combat in the next uh, video. But right now, I just wanted to show off what Newman looked like and stuff. But here's your first issue. Uh, once you get close enough to Newman, and uh, if you have your camera pointed at just a certain angle, the game will freeze and stutter and pause like that repeatedly. Uh, and it doesn't matter which direction you come from, it's just a certain distance from Newman Base and it'll do that on you. I don't know if it's because of the wall hexes, if it's because of just how many players are in Newman or what's going on with it, but anywhere around the cities and uh, areas like this there's this always this one like so much distance and then wham uh, I have done some rendering lowering on the options uh, but like I said it, it still happens anyway the next part is uh, basically you, just, you can use your map here to figure out your way. And the little yellow dots, I think, are either entry points or they're uh, uh, points where you're supposed to control or something. I don't know. Uh, somebody who has more experience with the game can probably uh, explain how Newman works. But uh, pretty much, I know that there's at least like a couple of uh, like s capture points along the map. They're like little, these little buildings with the white white lights or something like that, and certain parts of the bases here. But beyond that, I really don't know much about it. Uh, and once again, like I said, it's just. Uh, pretty much game stuttering and like I said expect a lot of it and here's a big one yeah like I said it's just every time you turn your camera to Newman base it just wham this big time lag spike and we'll actually drive into Newman and you'll see like nothing's there so there's no call or reason for it. it it's just I don't know what's going on with the game but it just it, it's just really annoying because I mean everywhere else works just fine it's just, it's just cities and then Newman and Richmond and stuff like that it, it just has these weird just big lag spikes doesn't like packet loss or something uh, about here is where I start actually hearing some gunfire and some uh, slashing going on uh, and we're finally at Newman or near Newman anyway close enough Looks like the Federation has already gotten up here. Let's see if we can catch some runners.
because generally uh, they'll start running off really fast. That's the ground. Like I said, I, I hear the combat and stuff rather loud, rather loud, but I don't see anything yet. Oh, there's an emergency repair. Somebody was, somebody is up there. Let's see what who it is. Oh, we we found ourselves a Federation guy, but he's too far to shoot. And unfortunately, he gets away because we can't mysteriously jump up buildings. So. Uh, he is still around us, but I don't know where he is exactly, and he's still engaged, but I don't know where he is. So you can see me just running around like an idiot looking for him, seeing if he's landed somewhere, if he spotted me or something. Uh, but... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go back to Newman Base now. Might look back around one more time just to see, you know, be safe. Because everything can just one hit pwn me. And another leg spike, just because it can. La da 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 da. Another leg spike. Eventually it'll settle out. It's just... I think it is all the Xeon guys are getting into their mobile suits or something right now. And we wait. We'll wait. Okay, finally cleared out. We're able to move our camera a bit. So let's uh, cut the video a little bit and uh, start heading towards Newman. By the way, some of these hills are badly coated, so you have to either back up or cut and come from the sides and stuff. But let's go ahead and continue on to Newman. As you can see, it's already 20 minutes into the combat, and we've seen one uh, Federation suit, but we haven't seen any Xeon suits yet. So let's investigate what's going on. Also, here's one of them weird capture points and stuff I was talking about. And just make sure that that one guy who spotted earlier doesn't all of a sudden jump behind us and pwn us. But like I said, you can see here, there's this b weird building with white on it. I think that's like a capture point or something. I don't know. Uh, and somebody please correct me on what exactly that is. And looks like there's a mobile suit to the left of us. Let's see who that is. Uh, looks like a uh, Kelgoog, uh, piloted by a player who wants to role play as a uh, Char. So we'll go ahead and follow him. Looks like he's going near the hangar. Yep, there's a closer shot of the, him with his Nagatas and stuff. And then we find another uh, Galgoop. So it looks like everybody's just now getting their mobile suits ready and stuff. Uh, I try to say hey, but I don't see nothing. And there's a, a moon speak guy. Looks like they're mildly mobilizing. Uh, there's a bandy man or something like that. And then there's another uh, Xeon suit there. Like I said, they're all over the place. Uh, looks like somebody replied to my hello, but unfortunately he speaks moon speak, so I have no idea what, we, what he's saying. <laughs> and depending upon your vehicle, uh, you can make these jumps. Uh, if you're like in a mobile suit, you can, but... Uh, I'm going to try and catch up with the mobile suits here, but I don't think I can. I think you can see there's plenty flying out now. So Sanders should be happy that I finally found some players. <laughs> so 
so uh, while we can't follow them up above, we'll see if we can follow them down below. And I'll be editing for content uh, later on because I'll be driving around like nowhere for periods of time finding uh, dead mobile suits all over the place. Like I think I saw like on my round trip I found maybe like three or four uh, of Federation suit carcasses. All along the outskirts. But let's go ahead and head out. I said the, the maps aren't really too hard. It's just lack of radar and some other annoyances. But you can kind of use these tunnels here to hide yourself. And we're finally outside. As you can see, now we're 30, nearing the 20 minute mark, the 30 minute mark of the combat. And here's a side shot for the people who want to see more of the Magilla, just in case they want to. And once we find some players, so I'll go ahead and uh, resume recording. Okay, and we're back, and we found Char again, our Char and the Bull wannabe, and we're in our in a forest of trees here. We try to go for a natural camo. I can see they're still using the cliffs up here. Now there's something that I addressed that I edited out, uh, which is if you use your mouse and just kind of scroll along the sides, you can actually see a lot longer than what your radar range is. I think it extends out to maybe three, two and a half k or something like that. Might be wrong there, but this is a rough estimate. But it gives you enough of a view to see what's coming and whatnot. Not the best guide, but. At least it gives you like somewhat of an idea of where something might be, which is like the rendering distance I was talking about earlier. Since we have this high terrain here, let's go ahead and look. Uh oh, uh oh, that's a that's a Gundam. We we, we don't want to monkey with the Gundams. As you can see there, there's a Federation base, so uh, we're too close, and somebody just had a Gundam out, so. Uh, that's gonna one one hit pwn me. Luckily, I backed out just out of rendering range. <laughs> so let's go ahead and try to find the Xeon guys again, uh, which will be next video. So uh, later.